We're at the airport. It is around 6 a.m. Heading out to Orlando for a conference. What's going on, guys? Dr. J, MedSchoolInsiders.com. In this video, I'm gonna go over what it's like to go to a conference and present your research. Now, generally speaking, whether you are a resident, a medical student, or an undergrad, if you perform research and submit it to a conference and it gets accepted for an oral presentation, usually the program you are working with will fly you out. So I was very fortunate that one of my research projects got accepted to the ASPS annual meeting. That's the American Society of Plastic Surgery, and every fall they have a meeting someplace in the United States. This is the biggest plastic surgery conference, and I was super excited to go and truly honored to present there. We are now in Orlando, just landed, got the rental car, heading to the hotel right now. We got there kind of late, so we were not able to attend the opening ceremonies, but I called it a night early that day since I had my presentation early the next morning. So Saturday morning, I was the second one to go, 7.05 a.m., and because it was so early, not that many people actually showed up. It was only about 25 to 30 people in the audience. That's all right though, I stayed obviously the whole day and was able to support my colleagues, my friends who I also did research with and learn about cutting edge research in plastic surgery. So my friend and I, we just finished presenting back at the hotel room, just recharging a little bit before we head back. Now Sunday day two, again, went to the conference, got to support my fellow colleagues who were presenting and also got to learn again about plastic surgery research. I just attended a talk on social media for physicians, which is actually really interesting to hear about because you don't really think about doctors needing social media, but especially in plastic surgery, it's a very powerful tool in your practice. So it was interesting to learn about how they suggest that plastic surgeons use it. And obviously uh, with Med School Insiders, we have a lot of social media as well. I also spent a little bit more time in the exhibit hall. This is where companies come in and they show their products to plastic surgeons, hoping that they will use those products in their practices. The hottest and most anticipated company during this meeting is a company called Polarity TE. Now these guys are completely changing the whole medicine game. There was recently a Forbes article comparing them to the next Amazon or the next Tesla. So what Polarity TE is doing is actually regenerating tissue like with like. So they can take a sample of the patient's skin and actually generate more tissue from that. It's really exciting stuff. It's fully layered uh, polarized tissue. So there's skin with both epidermis and dermis and they're going to be expanding this technology to other organ systems, including bone, GI, etc., etc. So truly exciting stuff. Now at their booth, they have this fun little game. It's a virtual golfing game where you take a swing and the virtual golf ball you know, flies over to the hole. It's a par three hole, so whoever can get closest to the hole on that one swing would win a MacBook. So I did a competition yesterday, and it was for a MacBook. I got 12 feet from the pin, and here's the prize. So thank you, Polarity TE. I'm really excited to have this. And now, we're off to Disney. Now on Monday, which was day four, I took a vacation day and my significant other and I went to Disney World. We spent the whole day there. Pro tip, bring your own food. A lot of people don't know this, but Disney is actually totally fine with you bringing in your own food to amusement parks. Obviously you cannot bring alcohol, but this is cheaper and a lot healthier than anything you can get inside the park. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the Walt Disney World Railroad is now boarding for a scenic trip around the Magic Kingdom. Overall, it was a great day. It was my first time in Disney World. I had only been to Disneyland as a child. So really interesting being in a park like that as an adult. The attention to detail is really impressive. Fun, exhausting, long. Props to the parents who do this multiple days in a row. I got pooped after half a day but a good experience nonetheless. Day five, Tuesday, headed back home. That's a wrap. All right guys, we are back in California, made it safe and sound, had a great time in Orlando. Overall, this is just another one of the many perks with doing research. Research is itself very rewarding and very fun, especially when you start having meaningful results. 
when you present your research at conferences, it is building up your resume. It's a networking opportunity. You learn more about that field and cutting edge research in that specialty. And overall, it was a great experience. I highly recommend it. If you guys have any questions or comments about research, whether you're an undergrad, med student, or resident, leave them down below. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys wanna see in the next video. If you liked the video, make sure you press that like button. Hit subscribe if you have not already, and I will see you guys in that next one.